Hello everyone in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between mitosis and meiosis cell division okay so what is mitosis cell division in mitosis cell division what happens is that we have the parent cell and this cell is deployed okay so 2n 2n that refers to deployed okay so 2n and when we have single n that is haploid okay so these things you should know so let's say this is our parent cell okay this is our parent cell our parent cell is deployed and what happens is that when mitosis cell division occurs we get daughter cells okay so this is daughter cell number one which is also 2n and here also we have another daughter cell which is also 2n so these two are daughter cells okay these are daughter cells so so in mitosis cell division what happens we have diploid cell which divides and forms two daughter cells and which are also diploid okay this is mitosis cell division and in meiosis cell division in meiosis in meiosis cell division what happens we have one parent cell that this is diploid in nature let's say this is parent cell this is parent cell we have a parent cell and this cell divides so, so this cell so what we will have first it divides and we will have two deployed cells okay first we will have two deployed cells and these two cells these will also further divide they will also further divide and we will get haploid cell n and n okay haploid cell same thing happens here we will have haploid cell and haploid cell so in meiosis actually the division occurs two times this is first division right this is the first division and this here is the second division so basically in meiosis from one single cell we get four daughter cells which are haploid in nature in mitosis we have one parent cell which is diploid and we get two daughter cells which are also deployed moving further so what are the differences between uh, mitosis and meiosis so in mitosis cell, mitosis cell division it occurs in somatic cells okay it occurs in somatic cells whereas meiosis cell division it occurs in germ cells okay or the sexual cells so in mitosis cell division as you already know that nuclear nucleus divides only once okay in mitosis cell division nucleus divides only once whereas in meiosis the division of nucleus occurs two times in mitosis cell division two daughter cells are produced two daughter cells are formed whereas in meiosis cell division four daughter cells are formed in mitosis cell divisions the daughter cells are deployed in nature okay so they have two n chromosomes so deployed in nature whereas in meiosis cell division daughter cells are haploid so these daughter cells have n number of chromosomes mitosis, mitosis cell division it occurs more frequently meiosis cell division it occurs less frequently daughter cells form somatic organs okay they form somatic organs so in mitosis cell division these daughter cells they form somatic organs whereas the daughter cells in meiosis so from meiosis cell division they form gametes in mitosis cell division there is only one prophase one metaphase one anaphase and one telophase whereas in meiosis cell division there are two of each of these phases okay because it occurs two times so there are two of each phases and five subphases in prophase one okay in mitosis cell division number of chromosomes are not changed in the daughter cells yes because initially also we have 2n and finally also we have 2n but in meiosis cell division the number of chromosomes are reduced to half that is from 2n from parent cell has 2n and the daughter cell they have n number of chromosome okay so in mitosis cell division chromosome number doubles at the beginning of each cell division chromosome number is not double it doubles after the end of meiotic cell division and finally in mitosis cell division no crossing over occurs in chromosome whereas in meiosis cell division crossing over occurs okay i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for your attention